Hi everyone, so this is the first lesson of the second kinematics pack to do with vectors. To be fair, you just do everything the same as what you've done before. You've been creating equations using SUVAT uh, in each direction. It's just now that it's shown in vector notation. So in theory, you can just switch it and ignore it. What this does though, a slight difference of this, is its initial position. So we kind of take into account where it is in relation to the start point, which you kind of did before. Right, so, uh, well, they used to be called RUVAT. Now everything's a vector now. So you've got like V, U, and A are vectors. S, U, V are vectors. Uh, oh no, hang on, let me switch them over there. Hang on, empty them over here. We, oh, come on, move over there. So V, U, and A are vectors. S, U, and V are vectors. S, U, A is vectors. S, V, A is vectors. No vectors for some of the squared. Now this is just your, like the, these S ones are just kind of how far it's gone. It's more like how far it's moved. But what we do is we reference them to the start point. So we have an R. So R0 is the initial position. So now we're just thinking about this, this R, this, this initial position now. So all these kind of run into here. So... We we'll call them RUVAT. That's what we always used to do anyway. Right, so let's have a go at this then. Let's see what we've got going on. So the first one says, <clears throat> a particle starts from a point with a position vector 3, 7. So R0 is 3, 7. It's easier to work in column vectors than it is to work in IJ notation. You can switch it back if you want. So I've got that, it moves with a constant velocity. So we know that the acceleration is zero. It's got a constant velocity. So my u and my v are both equal to three, seven, there. Now, it says find its position vector. So we've got an equation from the other side that says r equals r0 plus vt there. So r0 is 3, 7. v is, uh, what have I done? Oh, look at that, look, 2 minus 1. Did you spot that or did you just kind of go with it? So I hope you spotted it. Sorry about that. 2 minus 1. There, 2 minus 1, and t is 4, there. So I multiply the top line out. Now if you're not happy, the top line is 3 plus 2 lots of 4, which is 11. The bottom line is 7 plus minus 1 lots of 4, which is 3. So we have kind of expanded vectors before, but just in case you weren't sure. So that's 11 free. So what I can do is I can write it in the component form, which is 11i, so 11 across, and 3j up there. Keep an eye on the clock now. So given that the particle is due east, um, so as it say, so given the particle is due east of the origin at time t, Find the value of t. Now people kind of get quite messed up with this. So if you imagine, if something is due east of it, so there's east, the j component of its displacement is zero. So you're kind of happy with that, the j component is zero. So j component, its displacement is zero. I'm watching the time on 4.46. I'm just going to stop the, uh, the vid now. 